After a 21-day campaign, Senegal's presidential coalition announced the victory, claiming to have won 30 out of 46 departments. The voting turnout was low and the election passed without any major incidents. But the opposition are not happy, describing it as a prefabricated majority. Now the opposition are claiming victory as well, causing a dispute over the results. <laughs> We have one in 30 departments, as a reminder the country has 46 departments. So I think that is very clear. We have one North Africa, we have one West Africa, we have one Central Africa. This undoubtedly gives us a majority in the National Assembly. Ahead of the vote, Usman Sonko, leader of the opposition, urged the public to vote in large numbers. But Senegal's interior ministry said the participation rate of the election was 47%. The number of voters that we had at the beginning during these two elections, we did not have this time. Out of 538 registered voters, only 285 voted, which is too low. Voters went to the polls under the best conditions of freedom and transparency that ensure the sincerity of the vote. This is the very essence of a self-respecting democracy. This legislative vote was considered to be a litmus test for the next presidential election, where the opposition were hoping to discourage President Saul from seeking a third term. These results indicate no change at the top of Senegal's leadership. Tomisin Delano, reporting for Arise News.